so um, I'm proud of that. And so I had a whole different talk organized where I wanted to talk about each one of the individuals uh, a little bit more because, again, I feel very strongly about teamwork and I wanted to talk about the team. But I do want to close with something because uh, one of the candidates brings, did bring something up and I want to bring any negativity that anybody's feeling about solar money or any other cash that Stark County might uh, have on hand. Our goal is to live better in Stark County. I want every one of you, when you go to Porter County, I don't want you to say, gosh, I wish we could live like that. Because we're going to live better, we're going to be better, we're going to be healthier, stronger, and we're going to do that with leadership from the, the county council here. So this is really important. So I will close with saying that whenever you hear somebody say that they wish they could have had the solar uh, money done differently or whatever else, we're going to be able to take some of that solar money and spend it now and buy things that you would have bought with your tax dollars anyways. But some of us that are a little older, we're going to get to enjoy that and experience some of that now. So it's, it's, there's no situation where there's anything shady being done or anything else. Just watch and see. And in the next four years, you're going to see Stark County in some huge changes and a lot of betterment here. So thank you all for coming out. If you ever want to approach me or get a hold of me, many of you do call. You've got my number. Let me know. Take care. Sandra Hyde, District 4 County Council. to say tonight, I decided that since there's probably some folks here that weren't here back in April when I was standing here at this podium, I would repeat a little bit of what I said then. So I apologize if I, if I am being a little redundant, but I'm going to fill in some blanks here. Um, so, and I had to laugh because um, Ms. Khalid, who actually I think just stepped out to the restroom, um, she had mentioned that she is a lawyer and she, then she sort of laughingly mentioned bad lawyers and good lawyers. Well, I guess depending on what side of the courtroom you've sat on, for me, you might consider me one of those bad ones. But fortunately, I think enough people think of me as a good one <laughs> so that, I, that I've been able to continue living and working in this county in a relatively peaceful manner. Um, but love me or hate me in that role of, of attorney Hein. Um, I have spent the last 19 years serving this community and building my business, which is my law firm, from the ground up. And I did that after attending law school at Valpo with two kids and a husband, and sometimes I worked up to four part-time jobs at one time in order to support my family while I went to school. And I, as I said back in April, I was not born here in Stark County. I chose to live here about 27 years ago. I think that growing up in industrial Lake County has given me a greater appreciation for everything Stark County has to offer. Lower taxes, green fields, space, less traffic, fresh air, and getting to know and actually befriend our neighbors and the people that we live with in our community. But that's not to me that Stark County can just sit back and stagnate in its past. And while we should honor our past and value it, we can learn from it to keep the county moving forward. And judging by the remarks um, made by the other uh, candidates for council, um, we're on the right track here um, with the monies coming in. So to keep up with local news, I've been reviewing the county's expenditures and receipts, but I'm not going to stand here and deny that I don't have a lot to, to learn about how county government runs, because I do have a lot to learn, but I am willing to put in the time that it takes to do that, do my homework, and work with the existing team, um, or the team that ends up existing after the November election. Um, I have talked to some of my fellow citizens about their concerns, and some of them might seem 
rather minor, but I think they make a big difference in people's daily lives. And some of the things that I hope to address, something like re uh, access to better recycling throughout the county, monitoring that expenditure of the incoming funds um, and taxpayer money, and making sure all of our government offices are properly funded so they can all do the job that they're trying to do to serve us. Thank you. Not going to the sheriff's race.